hello guys and welcome back the last change we will make in the enemy ai will be that whenever we hit any enemy or the drone we will then make the drone run towards the player because then the drone will know that where the player is so we will add this change in this open up the enemy script and write down below as you can see we have done that right here when we uh, when the player uh, pursue us then we increase the radius and the shooting radius as well so we will do the same when we attack the enemy okay so right here when the enemy health becomes decrease then we will increase the vision radius and the shooting radius as well for example let's make the vision radius as 40 then and let's make the shooting radius as 19 okay so when we hit the enemy we will increase the vision and the shooting radius you can save the script and this change is now done to all of the enemies now let's give the same change to the drone as well and i added some few enemies i have added an enemy inside the warehouse as well i told you how you can add different enemies in the previous video so go ahead and watch that video and the enemy which i have added in the inside the warehouse i make his vision radius and shooting radius lesser okay and the other enemies vision radius 11 and 5 Okay, now let's do the same for the enemy drone. So let's open up the script. All right, down below. When we give damage to the drone, we want to increase the vision radius and the shooting radius. Now with this done, save the script, get back to Unity. And guys, you can see we have this uh, warning Okay, it says hide inverted member component dot animation use new keyword if hiding was intended. Okay, and let's solve this. So if you open up the generator turn off right here, we need to change the animation. Let's change this to enemy. Okay, don't name this as animation or else it will give out that warning. Now get back to the unity and now you will notice this error will be gone now as you can see so in this way you can solve that problem now let's go ahead and test the enemy okay so for example if we try to hit some enemy let me hit that one as you can see he will not follow us because we are really far away but if you try let's as you can see we have hit it this enemy's health was down and as you can see now he can shoot us and if we try to run away from him, he will follow us. As you can see, he is now following us. As you can see. So now, the player can also, sorry, the enemy can also follow the player now when we try to shoot the enemy. Now, with this done, let's end this video right here.